A freshman at a prestigious university disappeared without a trace after a sports match, leaving her car and keys in the parking lot. The police assumed she had fled, so they didn't look into the matter further. But her loved ones and acquaintances suspected something awful had happened to her. The truth was hidden for 12 years until it was revealed. Shannon Melody was born on October 20th, 1974 in Miami, Florida. From a young age, she was told that getting a good education should be her number one goal. Shannon excelled in school, focusing on her studies and participating in various clubs and activities. She became quite interested in politics and law while in high school and eventually wanted to work for the Supreme Court. With her exceptional grades and accomplishments, Shannon was accepted into Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. While studying political science, Shannon also worked part-time at a nearby softball field. On March 26, 1994, Shannon had quit her job due to an error by her supervisor. She planned to stop at a gas station to buy a beverage after leaving the stadium after her work that day. Regrettably, she was never seen again. Shannon's roommate, Athena, became alarmed when she didn't return to their dorm in the evening. Worried, she contacted Sharon's parents, who then informed police. However, the police treated the case as if Shannon had run away, dismissing any potential crime. They didn't even take fingerprints from Shannon's car or investigate further. To locate their daughter, Shannon's parents took matters into their own hands. They sought assistance from former U.S. President Jimmy Carter, who accepted Shannon into a nonprofit organization. With the FBI's assistance, the case began to gain traction. Months passed with no leads until an unidentified man made a call, claiming he had kidnapped Shannon. Law enforcement finally reclassified the case as a kidnapping. They discovered the caller made the call near a Burger King restaurant in suburban Atlanta. Detectives found Shannon's ring at the location, providing some relief to her parents. The police appointed a new lead detective who realized the mistakes made by the previous officers. They began investigating Shannon's last known location the softball field and discovered that the referee, Calvin Butch Hinton, had shown peculiar behavior that day. Witnesses reported that Butch was distracted and tried to engage Shannon in conversation. Butch had a criminal history, including attempted abduction and kidnapping. Detectives questioned him and he denied any involvement. However, a polygraph test indicated that his answers were false. A search of his property revealed hidden areas containing women's clothing, shoes, a sleeping bag, and softball field scorecards. While the clothing didn't belong to Shannon, it raised suspicions. Investigators discovered that the cloth baggie containing Shannon's ring was the same type used by Delta Airlines mechanics, where Butch worked. They also found a piece of duct tape in Butch's car that matched the tape used in the baggie. But despite these findings, there was no direct evidence linking Butch to Shannon's disappearance. The case reached trial, and although the evidence was circumstantial, several inmates testified against Butch, claiming he had hinted at his involvement. The jury deliberated for three days before reaching a decision, but they eventually convicted Butch guilty of murder. He received a life sentence in prison. Butch later confessed to the murder, giving a story that closely matched the prosecution's version. He claimed he had lured Shannon to his house, tied her up, and eventually killed her. However, he alleged he had burned her body, leaving no trace. His confession was met with skepticism due to inconsistencies in his story. Shannon's parents continue to fight to ensure that Butch is never released. People think he may have had something to do with the deaths of other young women, which could be dozens. The question remains as to whose belongings were buried in Butch's backyard. Unfortunately, without concrete evidence, it is challenging to solve those cases. Despite Butch's conviction, there is a possibility of parole every seven years according to the statutes at the time of the murder. Shannon's parents remain vigilant, opposing any chance of his release. They have tirelessly fought for justice and are determined to keep Butch behind bars. The case of Shannon Melody serves as a reminder of the difficulties investigators face when there is nobody to provide evidence of a crime. It highlights the importance of thorough investigations from the outset including proper evidence collection and consideration of all leads. The story of how Shannon went missing and how it was later found that Butch was involved is a scary warning that danger can be hiding in plain sight. 
It shows how important it is to be careful and to put the safety of young people first, especially in situations where possible dangers might be missed or ignored. As the years pass, Shannon's memory lives on through her parents' determination and the ongoing efforts to prevent Butch from being released. The story demonstrates how courageous and dedicated people can be when fighting for justice for their loved ones, even when the chances are stacked against them. While the truth behind the buried belongings and potential additional victims remains unknown, Shannon's story serves as a stark reminder of the need for continued efforts to solve cold cases and bring closure to families who have endured unimaginable loss. The case of Shannon Melody is a haunting reminder of the unresolved mysteries that persist and the importance of relentless pursuit in the face of adversity. It shows how strong people can be when they don't want their loved ones to be forgotten. It also is a call to action for a legal system that searches everywhere for the truth.